Hello everyone, it's Elder here. Today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about this uh, three-piece mess kit. Uh, it's made by a company called Stansport, and I have been familiar with them uh, since I started in the Boy Scouts uh, many moons ago. This is what every Boy Scout had. They actually marketed uh, to uh, the Boy Scouts. I'm not sure if it was this specific company, but the actual three-piece style uh, was something that uh, every Boy Scout had on them. That was way before the internet and Amazon and all sorts of other options. And uh, to be honest with you, it came in the aluminum uh, material, which uh, you know now is something that I'm very against. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, science and technology showing us that uh, basically aluminum uh, poisons us. So, uh, like I always say, we spend all this money on great food and trying to stay healthy so that we're always prepared, keeping our immune systems up, and then we end up choosing cookware that puts all those toxins uh, into the food and makes things even worse. So uh, keep that in mind, and that's one thing I do like about this because it is stainless steel, uh, and it even has a little bit of a copper bottom to uh, aid in uh, conducting uh, heat. So once again, no aluminum. I always prefer cast iron, but obviously when you're on the move, uh, cast iron really isn't practical because of its weight. So as I go ahead and uh, open up, very simplistic design. All right, uh, once again, this is an older model. All right, the newer model that I'm actually uh, posting in the, uh, the blog post has a few more bells and whistles and you know things that they've learned from in the past, which is cool. So always innovating, always trying to make it a little bit better. But uh, one of the main reasons why I like this because of the fact that I've used it for so long is the fact that it's uh, inexpensive for what you're getting. I mean, it's stainless steel, uh, it weighs about 1.2 pounds, is uh, what the manufacturer states. And uh, it's, uh, it's very good to go for less than $20. All right, so let me go ahead and open this up, all right? This is, would be your frying pan here on the bottom. Here's another little uh, pot or dish. You have your tiny little pot here with the lid. And you have your frying pan with the little handle here. All right, so three piece set. Nice, convenient design, and uh, that's probably why they've been around for so long. Now, I'm fortunate I have a lot of different mess gear, a lot of different pots from titanium and, and all the uh, new cool stuff. You know, obviously because of these reviews, I get to play with a lot of cool stuff. I get to own a lot of cool stuff, but I always seem to have this in my pack. Uh, even recently in doing other reviews, it just seems like when I reach in there, call it an, an old habit or whatever the case may be, or nostalgia, or just getting used to it, I end up uh, having this kit with me in the field, and that uh, never seems to let me down. This is a personal mess gear, right? So this is made for you and for your person, but at the same time, when I go out in the field, whether I'm with another Natural Training Center member working on some kind of mission for them, or even if I'm just with my wife, uh, this is fine for, for both of us for what we need, um, you know, while we're out there on these uh, day hikes and, and, you know, things of that nature. But even if we were in uh, somewhat of a survival situation, you know, in a pinch, of course, it's small. You might have to cook two or three times or whatever the case may be, but it's going to work for you. And its advantages uh, far outweigh the, uh, the disadvantages. Uh, just because, once again, the room that it takes up in your kit and uh, the weight. So for those reasons alone um, is uh, why I, I really like this and recommend it to our newer Natural Training Center members. Remember, it's also inexpensive, so it passes all the good stuff because it's light and it's stainless steel and doesn't take up too much room, but also the price point. Because you might have some people that, hey, they want to go out, they want to see what Natural Training Center is all about, so they start adding gear, and especially if you have no gear, stuff gets expensive when you have to have one of everything, right? Even uh, in the most basic of, of packs. So when we're choosing uh, uh, something and want to be uh, budget conscious, because uh, you don't want to scare people away either and be like, oh yeah, you want to go uh, camping, you want to learn some survival stuff and some preparedness stuff, no problem. You know, let's go buy $500 worth of gear for your first outing and then we'll decide whether you like this stuff or not. Not going to happen. You're going to turn people off. So work with them, you know, because it's not something that, that uh, is going to render useless even if they do get other gear or get other fancier titanium stuff or whatever the case may be. There's always going to be a place for this. And if it's not in your primar primary go bag, there's always going to be, you know, a secondary, you know or a tertiary, you know, for, for some of us. Uh, and also other stuff that when you're preparing for your family, as you upgrade your stuff, you can go ahead and pass this down along for their gear. All right, so that way when you're out there, you know you have multiple stuff. Now it makes it even easier uh, because everybody could kind of cook individually and take care of their own gear. Um, and that saves a lot of time, uh, also saves a lot of energy. All right, so just think about that, uh, that entry level, you know, for people and uh, that alone might be a great reason to uh, pick up one of these kits. 
Now, as you could tell here, I had lent this kit to a uh, friend, and I, I hold that name loosely after what he did to my frying pan. <laughs> but once again, you could just tell, I mean, this is not a big deal at all. You know, I have a lot of gear that ends up looking like this, but I'm actually gonna show you a trick, all right? Just using some simple biodegradable salt, uh, salt, soap, or any type of soap, to be honest with you, but I prefer the uh, biodegradable, biodegradable for obvious reasons, right? The more we're out there playing, the more that we're kind of, uh, messing things up out there, right? So any little thing that I can do, especially when it's relatively expensive, costs just as much as the other one, right? Um, it's stuff that I like to add. But anyway, the whole principle is, I'm gonna show you a little trick to avoid getting this type of tarnishing, uh, so, and soot buildup and all that other stuff, and uh, end up having your gear look like this, which is how it should look, even when you're packing it away. Uh, this does come with a cover, and where that bag is, I wish I could tell you. <laughs> That's been long gone. Once again, this kit's probably about 15 years old, and it's probably my third or fourth one. So I have my trusty little pot here from the mess kit and a trick that I learned actually uh, many years ago in a Boy Scouts was to get uh, some good soap. What I do with this soap is on the actual stainless steel I give it a light little coat. So as I put it in here just kind of rub it all around the outside and it'll stop it from getting that nasty buildup uh, that you saw actually on my uh, main frying pan from this mess kit. All right, so go ahead, rub that all on there, right? Nice and simple on the outside. Go ahead, put some water in there. Put a little lid on there. And we can go ahead and put it on the solo stove. And just let it get to work. So I wanted to go ahead and just build the uh, the fire up just a little bit more, so it starts to get that uh, soot around this little pot, so that you could see uh, the little trick that I was talking about uh, with the biodegradable soap that I had put on there earlier. All right, so it looks like our water's boiling here. Little lid is about to pop off, so you could tell that uh, we do have some boiling water here. So for the purpose of this review, go ahead and move that off the fire for a bit, let it cool down so that I could show you uh, the rest of it. So now our little pot over here is cooled down, uh, but as you can tell, we have all this nasty stuff here on the bottom, all right? But remember, we had put the, uh, the biodegradable soap on here, and what that allows us to do is to pretty much just wipe down all of this nasty soot but I think that you get what I'm talking about. And I do wish that the last idiot that borrowed my uh, mess kit did the same thing to the frying pan, but uh, I guess uh, he didn't see this uh, review. That uh, pretty much sums up this review. All right, if you need some, uh, some personal mess gear, uh, this is something that you might want to look into uh, just because of all the reasons that I had told you. Nice and convenient, has served the uh, scouting community for many, many, many years. And, uh, you know, of course, even as kids and everything like that, we really put this stuff through the test. And uh, it seems to stand the uh, test of time. Price point is awesome. If you think that this is something that could uh, serve your purpose or your needs, uh, I definitely recommend picking one up. This is Helder. Hope you enjoyed this review.